Let's learn how to create a word cutout using Adobe Illustrator to design and the Glowforge. So when you're in Illustrator, click on the type tool to type out for the, for the word that you're wanting to cut out. Today I'm going to type out Audrey. And to enlarge your text, you're going to click on the um, selection tool Click on the uh, text and then you'll drag from one of the corners to enlarge. Make sure to hold shift while you're doing it so that your word doesn't get distorted um, and lose its uh, true shape and form. All right. So if you're looking to change your font, make sure to go over to your character selection and uh, select your font. If you were to send this text over to Glowforge, the Glowforge won't be able to read it and uh, essentially it'll be blank. So we need to send it over as an outline um, and an SVG file so that the Glowforge can read um, you know, whether to cut it out or to engrave it or to even outline it. So to do so, we're going to outline uh, your text. I'm going to either right click and click on create outlines or you could uh, click on command shift O and it'll do that for you. If you look closely at um, the word, you'll see that each of the letters are currently overlapping. So uh, where the A connects with the U, U with the D and so forth, you see uh, there's a couple blue lines in there uh, so we need to make sure that this is united as one um, continuous path so that when your Glowforge goes to cut this uh, it cuts in one consecutive path and not into multiple pieces uh, so to do so uh, make sure your text is highlighted go to pathfinder then click on the unite button so depending on what font you use, some may be a little bit more delicate than others. And uh, when that's the case, you want to make sure to um, thicken the line so that uh, it doesn't break or that it doesn't char, um, your piece doesn't char. In order to do that, you can, my one of my favorite methods is to just click on your text and then use your stroke option um, to thicken out your lines. I'm going to go with a one point and then from here I'll go to object, path, and then outline stroke. What that's essentially doing is also outlining or um, tracing out that outer line that you just highlighted or outlined. Once you do that, I'm going to click on Pathfinder again and make sure to click on Unite. I'll also go to Properties and uh, change the width of my uh, design to 6 inches so it matches uh, what I'm looking for. And then we're ready to save this as a SVG file. Alright, so once in Glowforge, um, you can click on create to upload a brand new file. I've already gone and done that, so I'll go ahead and open this. Um, once you're in the Glowforge, you can adjust to what you need it to be, whether it's engrave, cut, score. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done.